Welcome to our exploration of Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter, a masterpiece that delves into the complexities of sin, punishment, and redemption. Nathaniel Hawthorne, a prominent American author, wrote this novel set in a Puritan New England village. Today, we will unravel the layers of this fascinating story and its enduring impact on literature. Let's meet the characters who bring The Scarlet Letter to life. First, we have Hester Prynne, a woman who defies societal norms. Then there's Arthur Dimsdale, a minister battling internal turmoil. Roger Chillingworth, Hester's husband, seeks revenge, while Pearl, Hester's daughter, symbolizes both innocence and transgression. Each character plays a pivotal role in the narrative, embodying themes of guilt, secrecy, and resilience. Nathaniel Hawthorne's writing style is intricate and symbolic. He uses long, complex sentences and imbues his narrative with romanticism, creating a battle between good and evil. The novel is rich in literary devices like symbolism and allegory, which we will explore in detail. The Scarlet Letter is not just a story, but a tapestry of themes and symbols. It explores sin and its consequences, the individual versus society, and the quest for identity. The Scarlet Letter A, worn by Hester, evolves from a symbol of shame to one of strength and identity. We'll delve into these symbols and what they represent. The historical context of the Scarlet Letter is critical to understanding its themes. Set in 17th century New England, the novel reflects the strict puritanical values of the time. Hawthorne's own life and the societal norms of his era deeply influenced his portrayal of these themes. Through the years, the Scarlet Letter has been interpreted in various ways. Some see it as a proto-feminist work, highlighting gender dynamics, while others examine it through a psychoanalytical lens. Let's explore these critical perspectives and what they reveal about the novel. In the world of The Scarlet Letter, symbolism extends beyond the characters to the setting itself. The forest, with its untamed wilderness, represents freedom and the natural world, while the town, with its strict rules, symbolizes society's constraints. As we explore these settings, we'll see how Hawthorne uses them to reflect the inner turmoil of the characters. The concept of sin is central to our story, but Hawthorne doesn't just present sin as a black and white issue, he explores the gray areas. Hester's act of adultery, traditionally seen as a sin, is also an act of love and defiance against an oppressive society. This moral ambiguity challenges us to think about the nature of right and wrong in a new light. Hawthorne's narrative technique is like a puzzle, full of ambiguity and subtle hints. He often leaves more questions than answers, inviting readers to become detectives in their literary journey. As we delve into this technique, we'll learn to appreciate the complexity and depth of his storytelling. As we wrap up our exploration of The Scarlet Letter, it's clear that Hawthorne's novel is more than just a story set in Puritan New England. It's a timeless exploration of human nature, morality, and the societal pressures that shape our lives. Its legacy continues in classrooms and discussions around the world, challenging and inspiring new generations. Like and subscribe to join us again as we continue to deconstruct classic and modern literary works.